One of the more powerful tools in SOLIDWORKS is the ability to do in-context design. This allows for part creation and modification within the context of an assembly. But doing this without a good understanding can lead to a host of issues. Here I have an assembly that comprises of a top cover and a base. If we hide the top cover, you can see that there are these two features coming out from under the base. And these two features actually interfere with the top housing. So to address this issue, we need to create openings on the top cover to accommodate for the two features. Now at this point, we can start to use the measure tools to measure the size and location of the features, and then open up the top cover part file, start a sketch, and start to create the features that way. But by doing that, we will really be missing out on the power of in-context editing of SOLIDWORKS. So with in-context editing, I can make adjustments to the top cover by leveraging on the features of the base. And all of this can be done in the assembly environment itself. So let's right click on the top cover and click on edit part. You can tell that you are doing in context editing by two visual cues. The part in the assembly tree becomes highlighted in blue. And there's an edit part icon on the top right hand corner of the screen. So once modification is completed, clicking on this will complete the operation. So let's create a sketch on the top cover. I'm going to create openings with one uh, with a one mm offset from the features of the base. So once completed, let's exit the sketch. So take note that although I am working in the assembly file, the sketch that I have created resides in the part file. So let's open up the top cover in a separate window. And you can see this sketch appearing in the feature tree of the top cover. The arrow indicates that this sketch is in reference to an external part which is the base in this case. Now let's go back to the assembly. We are still in the part editing mode. Let's create an extruded part. Sorry, let's create an extruded cut using the sketch. We will select the up to next option. As you can see, we have openings now on the top cover. There is one mm offset from the features of the base. And let's exit out of the part editing mode. So what happens if we try to change the dimensions of these two features coming from the base. Let's try that now. So right click on the base and click on edit sketch. You can see that the base turns blue in the assembly tree. I have deliberately left the sketches undefined so that we can change them easily. So let's make them a bit smaller. and exit out of the sketch. And as you can see, upon regeneration, the openings on the top cover changes accordingly. That is the power of in-context editing in SOLIDWORKS. So when it comes to in-context design, there are a lot more topics that we can cover, and I intend to make this into a series. I will have more related videos in the future. See you in the next one.